Our 2023 bushfire crisis has gladly passed. We were very lucky. The flames came right up to the edge of our property and we had three spot fires jump onto our land. The fireys were there even at four o'clock in the morning and put those spot fires out. Otherwise it would have come through here. Uh, I'm glad that I've been doing years worth of clearing and back burning. Every year I do back burning and mowing to keep the risk down. So I wasn't all that worried, but it's still scary when the flames get on your land and we're only on five acres. Let's go for a drive and see just how close things came here. orchard up there this is our land comes down to the road this is one's lane and the fires are here three days after the fire they're still going out volunteers and mopping up reignition points what a bunch of legends these guys are This is Wands Lane and the fire burnt all the way down along this road during the night, Monday night, and the fireys were here uh, back burning it. And then on the Tuesday it reignited here and it jumped the road on our land and started a, a spot fire here, which you can see. They got on top of, done a sterling job there, got onto it pretty quickly. And then there was a second spot fire, much higher up here. And they got that out too. And there's our house and garage. And there are my trailers. This is the western boundary. And the fire started just from a few embers falling in the bush over here. I came down just after it had started and there was a small fire about a, a metre and a half in diameter. And Almost as soon as I got out of the truck, it just accelerated and spread out in every direction. It's burnt all this, as you can see. But you can see where it's jumped here. It's gone over onto this, which is our land. I usually walk my dog down through here. And it's gone right through here. This is how close it got to my car tyres and bits of junk they don't really need. There's my fiberglass moulds over there. And then it jumped again from here. It jumped 
and I saw this happen. I was standing right here at night time when it happened. Just a spark popped over and this area went up. These two tanks were left by the owner of previous owner who used to own petrol stations. And uh, I've always presumed there was nothing in them and with the fire burning around them, it proved to be the case luckily. And once again, I think it was half past 10 at night, the fireys were right here putting this out with their hoses and they've come back several times and they've actually raked over <coughs> most of this area you can see the vehicle marks where they've driven up through here with the truck to make sure and they've doused anything that was smouldering on the trees my fence post is a bit second hand and uh, three days after the fire went through they are still coming back constantly with their trucks, the fire trucks, and putting foam. They, they pull the hoses out and they go down 30 metres and they just go looking for the slightest smoke and drown the whole thing in water with foam. So they they are so diligent with the mop up. Uh, yeah, the fire takes a day to address really, but the continual mop up, that goes on for at least three or four days later and the fire went down one's lane here about two kilometers and it went up around the mountain up there that divides the wind from our place the wind goes one side or the other before it gets to us and it went round that hill and the danger was if it had got over the road and into this stuff it would have just gone straight up into the national park and that hasn't had a burn in there on record 50 years of records and there's no record of, of hazard reduction in there so today the um, national parks and wildlife are in there putting in uh, with huge bulldozers they're, they're uh, renewing all the fire trails in there which have been terribly neglected so that's where the fire got to. And that's Brenda and my house up there. Most fortunate and also all the clearing and back burning that I do. I actually back burnt this three years ago. Uh, I was nervous because this had never been burnt down here. Next year in winter, I'll be able to put a new back burn in here because all of that will be, uh, might be prone to fire. So that'll be good. So I can keep this area under control a lot better now.